Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, on today's adventure we're starting the Rise of Brook series and that is me travelling as far as I can and accessible areas of the Rise of Brook. So if you look at this map now, where it starts is where the circle is highlighting and where it finishes is where the X is highlighting. So today we are going to start on the circle area and we're going to work our way as far as we can down this brook. Oh, there she is. This area is so hard to get to. Right. Hmm. Must be something to do with water or something. So guys, this is the Rising Brook there, flowing downhill on its way to Rougey, that direction. However, um, if you look at this map now, there is another brook quite very close to the Rising Brook called Bentley Brook. God, these things are dangerous, these freaking fine, fine form thingies. I feel like I have to go further away from it. So I can't, I'm not walking across that. Ah, this looks a little bit more manageable. Alrighty then. Oh, now this looks cool. There we go. around there. Whoa! Whoa! Just look at that! That entirety of that tree is on its side. So that makes me question guys, because a few of my adventure videos I've seen like these craters in the ground. So is this the reason why there's craters in the ground, like trees have like knocked over like this? And obviously this one's been left, but could that be a possibility? Right, sort of zigzags over there, so I'm gonna go this way, right. As you can clearly see, I can't get through there because, you know, there's no way. What I want to do is get across from there, from that foot there, to over onto the hat so I can come around. I don't want to get stuck in this. So what I'm trying to do is sort of make it so I can jump across to there. Three. Oh, me, that was scary. Whoa. Flipping out that ground there, it's so moist. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, I did say that I would do my best to get to all the areas. Everything's breaking around here. Oh my God. I just broke that off that tree by just brushing onto it. Freaking hell, this area's dead. Just try and figure out where. We've lost the brook, guys. Where's that it there? Why does that look flat up there? That's the question. So, 
as you can clearly see there guys I cannot get in and all that so I'm gonna make my way up this hill it's not quite a path up here but it's doable and I can clearly see like down towards there the area where I'm circling right now that is the A460 uh, main road right now look how high it is off the ground compared to if I go down is that really really higher up here so we're gonna make our way this way what I'm hoping for is to be able to get a good view of the rising brook from up here this does look like it was a path at one point Alright, so we're going to try and go directly, keep to the, literally next to where this fence is because the riser brook comes into that direction and it goes under the, the train line. There you go. Right on time, eh? Okay guys, I've just noticed I am going to end up getting seriously trapped in that water over there we are making our way over network rails train line there's another uprooted tree Very interesting. What the heck is this? Okay, I, what is the purpose of this hole here? Is it, is it deep? Hang on. This goes quite deep down. Because this is still... That is brick there. So... It goes right down, brick carrots are going down. So what was this here? Was this anything to do with a building or a shaft of something going down? I have no idea, but it's very confusing. What's the pro I don't understand. Oh well. Okay. If you look down there, now we're higher up than the train line before. Right, this is where I want to see. Where is the brook? There she is. Right, I'm going to try and get down here as safe as I can. Ooh. We've got a drain pipe there, I don't know what that's for. However, if you spin around here, we have the riser brook there, just coming underneath the rail line. Then it shoots off directly over there. As you can see, I can't get across to that area because how unstable the ground is. So we're going to get back on the top there and walk as far as we can and see if we get to this brook a little bit closer. There we go. She goes across there and around down there. The water flow looks like it's getting faster now. There we go.
Obviously we can't get to the brook because of this uh, waterlogged land there. So we're going to make our way this way. Try to keep the brook to our right. There we go, we're able to get a little bit more close than that guys. goes this direction now. Whoa! That tree there has been re has decided to get grass and stuff growing on it. Because you can clearly see there's a tree that's fallen down. The same as this one here. It looks like somebody's put a uh, a bit of wood going across there. Absolutely no chance of me going on that. No, my luck, I'll fall flat straight through and get soaked. Okay, the riser brook goes in this direction. Okay. However, if you come over here, this looks like it used to go off like that up into there. So maybe at one point the brook had two flows going around this section of uh, dirt. So the riser brook goes over there. So we're going to try and carry on, see if we get to it. I look like I'm going to come into a bit of trouble here. How can I? Ah, there you go. We're going to make our way this way because I can see the riser brook, I think, just over there. This is going to be fun. Ah, there you go. Whatever you do, do not fall in. Do not fall in. Oh, Jesus. Thorns irritate me. Ah! Don't know if you can see that, but that was a thorn. It was just stuck in my hand. Oh, painful. Alright, now we're going to pick up the brook again. We're going to make our way up. Ouch, this way. These thorns are really harsh here. There she is. Oh, crikey, this is nice. Just have a look at this. Another little bridge. Look at these stones. Is that a wall that was here, or is that loose? That's loose. So that must have came from here then. Oh, wow. You see bits of brick amongst the, the dirt. If I show you there, that's a brick there that looks like it's been, the dirt's been placed on top of it or something's happened to it. Very peculiar, but very cool at the same time. All right, well, let's carry on uh, with the brook. So we're gonna keep the rise of brook to our right. I hope to slide into that. Right, we're not going this way because it looks like we've got some a drain there. There's a little drain hole just in that area there where I'm circling. So it looks like water does come into this area and feed into the brook. So it looks like at some point there was a pipe that was attached that went all the way over to there and then connected up to that. But now it's broken. Oh, 
Right, where is she off to? How am I gonna get over to there? <laughs> On my left hand side you got like literally looks like nothing has been disturbed. But then you look on the right hand side, you've got a train line and you've got the main road going into Rusley. It's just different contrast. This can't be the brook here. Have I lost the brook? Ah, no I haven't, there she is. I've seen these black pebbles, I don't know it, what they are, but they, they go throughout this entire brook. So I don't know if there's something that came from the area they got dumped on this area. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh god. No idea. Oh, I am now trapped. Because I've got water on that there, I've got the riser brook there so I can't go left or right. And I need to get to that section over there, so we're going to have to kind of go back on ourselves. Alright, let's make our way around here. I ain't getting sick and tired of these thorns. Now we're on the other side of that water that I said about. They couldn't get through over in that direction. We're now back at the brook. And that's where it goes under the train line again. There we go. Okay, we've got another drain here that's feeding into the brook. Wow guys, I have enjoyed today's adventure. Unfortunately, this is the end of part one. Part two will be coming to the channel very, very soon. I would love to know what that brick building was. Was it a part of the rail line or was it a building totally on its own? Who knows? If you do know the answer to the question, please put it in the comments below. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, this is where I'm going to have to love and leave you for this adventure. Please stay tuned for part two and always do your best to stay positive and screw all those negatives. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye. Easy. Bye.